Hi everybody, I'm just going to demonstrate a small program I built for interfacing with Aussie Explorer. Effectively what this program does is it builds track files and using these track files it allows Aussie Explorer to cache entire areas or tracks that you want to be in your cache at whatever zoom level you want. So I'm just going to zoom in here a bit and we've got a small town here in uh, Western Australia called Meekathara and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a track around this town just like so doesn't have to be precise we'll cover all the mining area and then we'll just save that track to a file we'll save the track to a file called test like that and then we'll fire up my program from within my program you'll then go to load track file you load in the file called test the one that we just saved and you can see here that at zoom level 4 we only require one image to create uh, a calibrated map for that entire area around that track and at zoom level 4 the pixel resolution is 8749 meters from pixel point to pixel point um, Zoom Level 4 has got very, very low detail on it, as you can see from the display on the screen here. So we want to have a look at this town at Zoom Level 18. And you can scroll through here and you can see that we've got some of the images, but some of them are also missing. So what we can do is we can uh, create an image list. And it tells me that out of the 1,365 images required, there are actually 595 images missing. For my program that doesn't actually matter, we could go ahead right now and build a fully calibrated image even with those images missing. I'll just fill those um, images that are missing with blank images. But what we can do is we can create what's called a missing image track. And that has created a, a, a track that will now intersect all of the required map images along this section here um, at zoom level 18. It's important to remember that this track was created at a zoom level of 18. So the tracks are designed to intersect the map images at zoom level 18. So we can go back to Aussie Explorer and we'll just clear this track off of here and we'll load in the track that we just created. Aussie Cache Convert Missing Images Plot. And you can see that it's created the track excluding the images that we already have in the cache. So we need to now select the same zoom level that we created this track in, zoom level 18. So go up here and select zoom level 18. And then select your track replay control and start to replay that track. And as you can see, I'll just slow this speed down a little bit because my internet's not that quick. You can see that the track is intersecting those 256 by 256 pixel images perfectly. And if you just let that track replay, adjusting your speed up here to suit your internet connection, that will cache that entire town for you. Um, but I'll just speed this up and we'll just quickly scroll through that entire track like so and then we'll just stop that playing from there and we'll go back to my program and we'll check again before we had 595 images missing we can just check that again and now there's 415 images missing you could go ahead and create a new missing image track at this point create a new missing image track go back to here clear this track off reload the track and start playing that track again if you wanted to. Obviously you need to slow your speed down to um, I don't know what that's doing that for. You need to slow your speed down so that we get uh, a reasonable speed so your data can come through. It's a little bit too quick. Blah blah blah. Okay. So that's 
caching all of that town for you. We can stop that. Go back to my program, recheck it. There's 278 mi images missing now. That doesn't matter. What we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and create the image anyhow. So I'm going to call this image here Mika. And when this file is saved, it'll also have attached to it minus 18, which will indicate to you that um, it was saved at a zoom level of 18. So we'll create the temporary image. And now we'll go ahead and create the final image. I use a program called uh, Graphics Magic and I just send the commands to Graphics Magic to, to do all the magic work like creating the montage and joining all the images together and then creating a final TIFF image. And at the end of that, my program also creates a mapping file that is fully calibrated for this particular image. So that's done. So we can go back to Aussie Explorer, clear this track off, and we can load in that image that we just created, Mika 18. Now this is quite a large image, and Aussie Explorer doesn't particularly like very large TIFF images. Um, but as an example, you can see here the images that are missing. And like I say, it doesn't actually matter with my program because it'll, it'll I'll just replace those images with a blank image. So if we can go to uh, zoom level 100% here, because that's the much better way to operate TIFF files from within Aussie Explorer. Otherwise, it's got to completely recompress them on the fly. To check the calibration of this, we can just put a waypoint down here, and here, and here, and here. You could also put in a bit of a track if you wanted to. Track up here, track across there, up there, down there, and down there. And then you can quite simply do a right click on that and go find map with cursor and select an internet map. And you'll see that the calibration is now also correct. Okay, that's um, part one of my little video. I'm going to actually do three of these because I can't put it on the image, I can't put a video on YouTube longer than 10 minutes. So I'll see you in the next one.